G'day guys, today I'm going to show you some of the virtual environments, the home environments on the MetaQuest 2. Uh, this is a Rick and Morty living room, so let's just see if you recognise some of the, the characters here. We've got Mr. Meeseeks over there, there's, a, there's another one I want to show you in just a moment of Rick and Morty as well. Uh, but what we'll do firstly is we'll go into the virtual environments tab and I'll show you some exciting stuff. Now we'll start from the beginning if that's okay. Classic home. Now this is the classic default home environment on the MetaQuest 2. It's not too bad. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll go into the space station now. This is one of my favorite environments. This is where I usually sit on this couch here sometimes that I've got as well. Over there you can see that's the big sort of space station that's behind us. Uh, amazing, amazing environment. All right, going back here, we're going to go into the Ryokan Retreat. Now, this is uh, a Japanese sort of style one. It's quite good to get your zen. Mm. <laughs> and you'll notice some of the Oculus. Um, oh, I think it's Oculus or Meta. Um, no, Oculus symbols that are actually snu snuck in there as well. This is the Meta Quest. That's what it's being called now. Um, so you will notice that some of the uh, Oculus name or convention um, sort of uh, titles are taken out. Uh, this is another one here, a winter retreat. Um, there's people going down the mountain there as well. Okay, we're going to go into the desert terrace. Now, this is a nice environment as well where you can sort of kick back with your uh, sangria, have a little bit of a, a drink and, um, and chill out on those chairs just over there. Okay, so we're going to go into the studio. The studio is not too bad as well. This is another one of the basic sort of environments uh, here on the MetaQuest. We're going to go into another one, and now this is the mountain study, that's right, uh, similar to the one we were just in, looking around, it's not too bad, okay, pretty basic, alright, so this one's a basic one where you're in a virtual space of bubbles, look at this, so you're kind of just floating here at the moment. Yeah, a little bit boring. Uh, we're going to go into the Crystal Atrium. Crystal Atrium's a little bit sort of a, like a sci-fi map, this is quite nice, what's behind us there, oh wow, that looks good, okay, cool. And outside of that one, guys, we're going to go into the Cyber City set into the future. It's a little bit like the Blade Runner sort of environment that's here. Um, lovely computers over there and a uh, couch. That's pretty good. Okay, outside of that one, we're going to go into the Quest Dome. This is one of the other basic sort of environments. You can see other domes over there as well. We're going to go into Horseshoe Bend. This is part of the app called Brink. Um, this is where you can travel around different parts of the world. This part's actually in America. You can walk up to the edge here. These environments, guys, you can actually walk around. Uh, we're going into, what else are we going into here? We're going into, oh, this is Lord of the Rings. Now, this is a new one that's just come out, The Rings of Power. If you're aware of the Prime TV series, uh, this is uh, Khazad-dum, so the Dwarven Kingdom in the Lord of the Rings world. So this is quite good. You can go, uh, there's a bit of a sort of a cave up there where they do their mining. Quite nice. I like this one. Uh, we also go into Star Wars The Mandalorian. Now, I'm also a fan of the Star Wars Mandalorian TV series. There's Grogu down there. The Razor Crest. That looks amazing. And also Mando's just over there as well. So, yeah, quite a good environment. We're going to go into Star Trek, the next generation. So sitting on the captain's chair here. And, uh, yeah, we can sort of uh, plot a course to another star system and have a little bit of fun with that. There's the <laughs> ocular symbol there as well. Quite cheeky. Okay, we're going to go into, if you're a fan of Fortnite, yeah, anyone can sort of jump into Fortnite. That's the battle bus that you jump out of through the cloud and go down into that environment there. So that's quite good. Uh, the next one is Star Wars The Emperor's Throne Room. Now, wow, look at this. So there's a TIE fighter just gone past there. Quite a nice environment. A little bit different to what we know in the t in the in the movie uh, series, I should say. So, um. Yeah, a couple of extra things that are yeah. snuck in there as well. Okay, let's go into The Simpsons. So if you're a fan of The Simpsons, we can sit on the couch as Homer and we can watch Itchy and Scratchy and there's all the environments there. You can probably see uh, just outside, uh, I think the kitchen's just over there. Yep, so it's quite good. I like that, it's very animated. Okay, we're going to go also into another Lord of the Rings, which is The Hobbit. This is Erebor's Throne Room. It's quite good as well. Not as good, I think, as the the Rings of Power map that we saw just before. Uh, Star Wars Star Destroyer. And there's Darth Vader just over there. Yeah, it's not too shabby. Yeah, basic sort of environment. Okay, so we're going to go into, what are we up to? Star Trek Classic Bridge. A little bit similar to what we just saw before. Uh, but I think the other one was a little bit better, don't you? Uh, leave me a comment, guys, if you'd like to see uh, more of these sort of environments. I'm going to go into the Minecraft Village. This is the other gaming environment. 
So if you're into Minecraft, you'll uh, recognize some of these sort of environments. Okay. So we're going to go into Rick and Morty again. This is the garage this time. Uh, there's Pickle Rick over there. And uh, I've actually got some apps that you can play with uh, Rick and Morty. I'll show you that eventually, uh, but not today. Uh, so keep an eye out for that one. This is also Rick's secret toilet, if you're aware of the toilets. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it's amazing. And the view that he's actually got when he goes through the portal into another world. It's an amazing view, sitting on the throne. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. We're getting on to Peach's Castle. This is the interior. Now, if you're a fan of Super Mario 64, you'd recognize this environment. We come through this door here and we go into these rooms. Going on the outside of that, we're going to go to the exterior of Peach's Castle. Uh, and yeah, do you know the name of that guy? <laughs> There's a question for you. So yeah, uh, leave a comment, guys, if you'd like to see uh, more of these sort of environments. I do want to show you more as they come to be. Uh, these new environments are coming out all the time and they look absolutely spectacular. Yeah. We're going to go into Star Wars Jedi Council. This is where they all sit and have their bit of a, a meeting about uh, meetings <laughs> and um, yeah, have their council business that goes on there as well. Zelda, the Breath of the Wild. Now, this is one of the shrine rooms. You come through this door here and you go over to there. Uh, wonderful, wonderful game. I do love Zelda. We're going to go into Back to the Future. Now, this is one of the movie environments. Uh, if you remember Einstein uh, from the movie as well, and Marty was over there playing his guitar yeah, lovely, lovely environment. I quite like this one. Yeah. It'd be good if they actually put in the DeLorean, don't you think? <laughs> All right, we're going to go into Star Trek The Holodeck. This is a basic one, uh, virtual reality with virtual reality coming through on the Enterprise there. We're going to go into Star Wars The Rancor Pit. This is one of my favorite ones. The reason being, we have The Rancor. So if you remember this from the movies, Luke fell through that grill there. This is in Jabba's Palace. And... He fell into the Rancor pit and met this lovely little guy here. Now, this is awesome. I want to reach out and touch him. He's fantastic. Look at the detail on that. Yeah. So we're going to go into the Matrix. If you're a fan of the Matrix, it's the blue pill or the red pill. Decisions to be made as you enter into the Matrix. We're going to go into the Halls of Moria, another Lord of the Rings. Uh, so this, you remember who he is. Uh, usually the goblins are running around these port tall um, pillars in this hall, but not at the moment, and that's perfectly fine. I don't mind that. Star Wars, the Imperial Hangar. So this is where all the troopers are all lined up. Uh, it's not too bad. Okay, and then we're going to go into Quake 3. Now, if you're a fan of the Quake game, you'll recognize this sort of environment. Quite nice. And there's a Quake game as well, which I'll show you at some point. And I'll show you one more. And this is Rick and Morty, the living room, where we started today, guys. So hopefully you've enjoyed these virtual environments. There's Mr. Me6. Hello, Mr. Me6. Hi, Mr. Me6. Um, it's a great uh, environment, this one here. I, I quite enjoy this. There's a Rick and Morty magazine and a cup of coffee. So we might actually have a seat on the couch. And uh, we'll sit down and we'll uh, watch something on the TV screen. 